Chocula and welcome to Count Chocula's Crib. I want to take some time to thank everyone that subscribed to my YouTube channel in 2013 and everyone that has been watching my videos. I appreciate your support. I want to wish you a happy new year. I hope 2014 turns out great for you. I'm really excited about my YouTube channel in the following year. I'm going to be putting a lot of time into it. I just wanted to let everyone know that every weekend you can expect a video from me from Count Shockula's Crib. Not only will I be covering some DCO news, what's going on with DCO in the game, but I'm going to be covering PC games and some comic book news and comic book movie news, maybe some reviews as well. So I hope you guys will tune in. Now the focus of this video is the best and worst of DCO in 2013. I'm going to highlight the five things I liked about DCO in 2013, and I'm going to highlight the top five things that I didn't like about DCO in 2013. This is just my opinion, so feel free to leave your comments below. Now, I just wanted to say that people are probably wondering why would a grown man dress up like the DCO character? Close enough, I guess. Well, I just wanted to say that the answer is simple. I just want to be different. I just don't want to be like everyone else and sit in front of my computer looking into the webcam. I just want to kind of do something different. Even if I make a fool out of myself, I really don't care. So I hope you're going to join me in 2014. And like I said, I appreciate the support. Thank you. Number 5, Legends Solo Challenges Introduced early in the summer of 2013 with DLC 7, Origin Crisis, these Solo Legends Challenges allowed players not only to learn mechanics of two Legends characters, but to earn Marks of Reality and PvE gear which was an upgrade from Tier 4. You could earn level 81 to 83 gear plus weapons. Not only were these solos challenging, it also allowed players to earn extra feet points and farm for styles and gear. It was a great addition to the game. Number 4 Permaban Money Glitchers I was happy to see SOE take action and put the ban hammer down hard on a lot of these players that were money glitching. Most of them received a permaban and lost their main characters. Unfortunately, a lot of these players can just recreate new accounts. SOE needs to take action in the future to ensure that these players can never come back to the game and try to ruin the gaming experience for the entire community. They say greed is a good thing, but in DCO, greed is the root of all evil. Number 3. Loot Drops for Everyone Late summer of 2013, the devs rolled out Update 29 where they drastically changed the loot system. Now there was no more need or greed, no more ninja looting on important items. Anytime a sub boss or a boss was killed, each individual in the raid or alert received their own loot item. Needless to say that this was hugely popular within the DCO community and could have easily been my number one if it hadn't been for these last two items on my list. Number 2 Celestial Power Set The SOE developers had everyone guessing as to what the new power set would be. Introduced in DLC 8 The Sons of Trigon, Celestial quickly became the choice of many DPS. Kind of a hybrid between sorcery and nature, Celestial quickly became an effective healing power with the Blessed and Cursed Trees offering a unique combo system similar to Hard Light. Number 1. DCUO on PS4 Even though the first week was full of bugs, having DCUO available on launch day of the PS4 was amazing with increased performance rivaling that of the PC with better frames per second, complete frame renders and less load time and almost zero lag it was definitely worth the wait and definitely deserved to be top of my list for the best of 2013. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video and look for part two, the worst of DCO 2013. Until next time, I will talk to you later.